I'm Stacy at Tamarack Nature Center, part of Ramsey County Parks. We're coming at you from the atrium today to talk about our pollinators and what we can do to help, because they need our help. There's even one of our pollinators that is endangered, believe it or not. It's the rusty patch bumblebee. They are so cute and they've got these rusty, two rusty spots on the back of them. They've lost a lot of their habitat as there's not as many grasslands and prairies as there used to be, so we gotta help them out because they help us out. We don't want any more on that endangered species list. So there's some programs that can help us out and some simple things you can do in your neighborhood. One is a cool program called Lawns to Legumes, where if you have a lawn in your area, you can take that lawn and convert it to pollinator plants. And there's grants that can give you up to 350 bucks to help with the plantings. Other things you can do, simply plant pollinator plants. Get some of the simple seed packets, some zinnias. Zinnias are those real cheery, bright flowers. They're great cut flowers, but they come in seed packets. You can get anywhere where seeds are sold. They're easy to plant in a planter pot, planter box, or in a neighborhood community garden or your backyard. There are also some awesome perennials that you can plant, and those are echinacea, or purple coneflower, and bee balm, bee balm or monarda, and that has a nice minty smell. Also, if you came out for our seed scavenger hunt, maybe you were lucky enough you picked up one of our packets of the Cleome seeds. Those are our unique, fun looking flower that have uh, spikes on them, but those have a lot of pollen and nectar on them as well. So lots of things that the bees need nectar and pollen to make honey, but also um, just to survive. Other things we can do. Well, if you have an old saucer or tray sitting around from a planter pot, or maybe a lid of a Rubbermaid bin that broke, something deep enough to hold water for a couple days, decorate it up. My daughter Nat and I got out some of our acrylic paints or puffy paints you put on like shirts, decorate it, get some rocks. What do you need rocks for? Well, the bees can't swim. So grab a few rocks, put those in the bottom so they have a place to perch while they're slurping, and then add some water. You get to make your own bee water. You might get a couple birds too. They might come take a bath. So you might need to change the water. Other things you can do, help out those cute mason bees, those little fuzzy ones, those tiny ones that Shannon was talking about. You can help make some nesting tombs for them. Maybe you have an old chunk of wood sitting around and a drill, drill a variety of sizes of holes in there, put it outside they might nest in there and overwinter. Or if you have some little sticks or straight dowels, you can cut or break off, drill some holes in the end. Maybe you get fancy. Get some twine or yarn and pine cones, wrap them around, hang them up. You might help out those little mason bees. So there are lots and lots of things that we can do to help out our pollinators because they sure help us out. Now we would love to see some of your fun pictures of what you've created and some artwork about how we help and love our pollinators. Next up on Friday, 10 a.m., stay tuned. You get to have an up close and personal view from some of our lead beekeepers in our bee yard and the inner workings of the frames of a honeybee hive. So take care, get outside when you can at a distance and talk to you later, bye.